Given the popularity of Nintendo Switch, it's fair to say people are picking up exclusive titles in droves. Cult favourite series like Luigi's Mansion are becoming best sellers on the new console, which means that Animal Crossing New Horizons might well be your first ever foray into the delightful, relaxed world of Nintendo's second life sim. And here's the thing, that's okay, you're welcome here. But you may be bemused, baffled even by the game, and not be entirely sure what you should be doing with your time. Why does it run on real time? How do I earn money? What's this museum stuff? Just what should I be doing? All this and more can be answered with our beginner's guide to Animal Crossing New Horizons. What are bells and miles? Well, with New Horizons, there are now two currencies in Animal Crossing. Returning favourite, in inverted commas there, bells is back, but you pay your initial debt with miles, and you can buy lots of different things with them too. Miles are the new thing, and they're rewarded for milestones within the game. Have you made your first tool? That'll likely get you a stamp and some miles. Caught 10 fish without one getting away? Miles. Picked up and sold 50 weeds? Miles. As you progress through your time with the game, Nook Miles Plus will be unlocked, and these are rep repeatable mini goals such as cut down three trees, sell five fruit or assess three fossils at the museum. These are repeated ad nauseum but are often given multipliers of 2x and eventually five times, so they're a very quick and easy way to earn extra miles. Bells are the main currency though and are used to pay off your loans for increasing your house size or for buying goods and making public projects such as building new homes for new residents or adding bridges and inclines to your island get the most out of day one and two. So now you understand money, if you're looking to get ahead quickly in New Horizons, you should be looking to have paid your first loan off by day two at the latest. Doing so is quite simple really, and it is core to understanding how to move forward in Animal Crossing in general. Pick weeds up, catch fish, chop wood, do anything and everything. Clear your island out on day one and two, and you should easily have enough miles to pay the 5,000 miles loan. Doing so will mean that by day three, you have a house instead of a tent. Blathers and the museum, a quick guide. So on your first day on the island, you should have at least got a fishing rod and or a net. Using these tools will let you find insects, fish and other animals. Go to the residential services tent and donate these to Tom Nook. After a while, he'll tell you his friend Blathers wants to come and visit. A bit of chat and some freebies later and you can put Blathers' tent down wherever you want the museum to go. On day two, go and visit him to find out about the museum and learn some vital DIY recipes that can help you get him his 15 required donations in order to make the full museum. Weed out the bad, make profit. While it may not be the most interesting thing to do, clearing up your island's weed problem is easy, but time consuming, yet also a very simple source of miles and bells early on. You'd be forgiven for thinking they'd be worthless, but even a simple stack of 50 weeds can yield 500 bells, and on top of that, you'll soon be adding to your cumulative miles awards. 50 weeds sold gets you some miles, then 200 weeds sold gets you more, and so on. Simplicity is key, and there will be time to make your house look amazing later. Get bank! Later on, DIY recipes will require weeds anyway, so it's never a bad thing to pick them up rather than pass them by. Rocks are very important. Mine them. Rocks seem like they just sat there doing nothing, right? But you can net tens of thousands of bells from the money rock each day and gain important crafting materials in iron, steel and clay as well, even gold if you're lucky. Each rock can throw out eight resources. Think of the rock as a grid, three by three, so nine squares with the main rock as the middle one. Dig two holes diagonally behind you so you are kind of blocked in and start hitting the rock with your shovel. As you hit it, you'll be pushed backwards and off balance, but the pre-dug holes you made will keep you lined up so you can get the full reward of eight items. Why is this important? Well, if you find that money rock, the one that spits money out instead of rocks, iron and clay, the final one is the most expensive, giving a bag of 8,000 bells, so don't ever forget those safety holes behind you or you're going to miss that big payoff visit other islands regularly. While you can visit your friends to get some off-island fruit, which is worth more back home, and indeed you should, but always plant some so it grows on your island too. You can also visit a randomly generated island to discover solo. 2,000 Nook Miles buys you a ticket you can use at the Dodo Airlines, and you should rinse this island completely dry because once you leave it, it's gone. So go with your tools, although you can make tools and rent them there, but have as an empty inventory as you can manage. Pick up every weed, grab every fossil, shake every tree, grab the exotic off-island fish, and just don't go home until every single slot in your inventory is full. There are even cross-pollinated plants you can find on these islands, so don't rush and do fill your pockets. Talk to the residents daily and check their houses too. 
New Horizons, like all previous Animal Crossing games, is a very social one. Speak to your residents, give them gifts, be kind and they will reward you. Check their houses regularly because after a few days of playing, almost every day you're going to find one of them crafting something at their DIY bench. If you speak to them, they'll tell you what they're building and then they'll give you the recipe so you can craft it yourself. They will give you clothing, presents and sometimes just money in the form of bells. Never forget to speak to them all every day. Importantly, and most importantly of all, there are daily limits. Animal Crossing is not a game you can do everything in a day. If a shop needs building, it won't get done while you're watching it. Tom Nook will be very useful in the early days of New Horizons, telling you fairly explicitly what to do. But there will be downtime, complete your own set goals and tasks, and then allow the passage of time to happen in the real world. If you want to carry on and you just want more, hit up the random islands and clear out your own island of goodies for the day. But if you have any specific questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to help you out. Welcome to the island, you'll never leave. And honestly, you should never leave our channel, well, apart from to go to the toilet and to do other things in your life, but do subscribe, hit the bell button, you'll never miss another video. If you could give us a thumbs up or leave a comment, you maybe go watch our Animal Crossing New Horizons review. Here's a secret for you, I gave it 10 out of 10. It's probably the best game this year. Also, follow at God is a Geek on Twitter. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.